Hi hey YouTube, this is Darkon633, and today is another Star Wars The Force Awakens review, and this time we'll be taking a look at the C-3PO and r 2 2 2-pack. Now what makes this version of C-3PO special is because, like it will be featured in the film, and also in the comic book, which will explain the origin of said feature, and that is the fact that C-3PO features a red arm instead of the, the usual gold arm that he did with the rest of his body. So. It's actually kind of interesting that he has a uh, different colored limb once again since he did have a silver limb at one point and he was silver completely at one point since he was still the prototype stage. So anyways, we'll take a look at the figures, but before then we'll take a look at the box. Now the box once again features some really nice artwork and I really enjoy, once again, the artwork team for the Star Wars toy boxes goes to the side here. Shows the rest of our duty to there. Nothing else here except the Disney logo. Shows more figures in the line and a bio for both of the characters. Now, what's also cool is that this is actually the first C-3PO figure I've ever owned. I do own a minifigure of it from the Lego, but I never actually owned a regular figure of C-3PO in any shape or form, so this is pretty cool. We'll take a look at C-3PO first. As you can see, he does feature the same gold, mostly except for the red arm that he has here. Articulation-wise, since it actually is supposedly a repaint of the Mission Series one that was already released, it does feature the same five points of articulation, which can get a bit awkward when you try to move around there. Same thing with the red arm. Set also can swivel. And he does feature the hip articulation, but unfortunately, that's as much for you, far you can go. There isn't much movement there and it's pretty restricted. We'll take a look at our duty to. He does have swivels on his legs, but no pivots there like some of the R2 figures. And his head can swivel. And that's pretty much it. He doesn't even have the third leg or anything. This is all it is. It's pretty much just a static piece. Anyways. The set also features a really weird contraption, which is supposed to be some kind of fire mechanism for r 2 and I guess you can kind of say it's thrusters of some sort. I'm not really too fan of it, but I guess it's cool that it has a little bit more feature to it. It's one of those flick missile things where you just flick it, and what's cool is that these pieces are removable, so you got these little rubbery force or lightning bits here. And we're just going to remove the missile there. And this can actually attach to the back of our duty to. Basically, what you're gonna do is reattach this since these pieces do pop off quite easily. And it's just going to cover over his head and just kind of latches on. Like so. So that's pretty much it. There isn't really all that. On there. It really doesn't do anything else, and it's really not that spectacular. It's just kind of a, I guess an extra play feature you can use. It doesn't really say snug on mine for some reason. We're just going to put this off to the side. And that's pretty much it for the set. The set itself really doesn't feature too much, but it is cool to get both versions of the character, at least a version of the C-3PO and R2-D2 if you currently don't own one. Now, this set retails for around... 15 or so dollars in the normal two-pack price, but I got this from Amazon for when it went down to around 11 to 12 when it was on sale there. I'm pretty sure he's still around somewhere, and it's kind of hard to get a hold of from what I've seen, but if you do manage to find this set, I kind of recommend getting this if you're a fan of C3Pro and rg 2 and I guess it's cool to get a C-3PO figure. I mean, he doesn't need to be the most articulated since he's just a protocol droid. He really doesn't do it that much in the films except just kind of walk around and get in trouble. But it is cool to get a hold of both of these figures. I'm going to be using this in a display, which you'll see in the next couple of weeks. Another review I'm going to use them in. And this is pretty much it for the set. But anyways, I highly recommend kind of getting the set. So... Please comment and subscribe, and check out Hirotago and the Gideon blog as soon as they reopen. Please check me on the Twitter under Darkon633, and please check down the other channels down below, including the WRW Podcast and more. But for now, 
We'll be seeing you too. Bye.